going back to autumn elegies thing i don't know what is like the biggest change from then and now and do, what do you miss i guess about 2013 compared to now and honestly one more question on top is what was your favorite year playing this game okay <laughs> i'll start with the uh, last one so i'll kind of just go over like as, as i played and uh like what i did like year by year so 2013 i don't know if i'd say like that was a real fun year or not i mean like the game came out in february and I think it was, and then it was like April when I decided to like really start playing. I mean, I wasn't really playing too much, 150 hours a month or 100. I have no idea what, but I mean, compared to like what it ended up like now or because I, I was still playing uh, Madden. So it's a American football video game. And uh, for four straight years on Xbox, uh, like leaderboards, I was like top 100. Uh, on that I mean eventually I just started like putting more time into old school so like I didn't really play a whole lot in 2013 and you know just kind of like the beginning stages of the game 2014 uh, definitely got a lot more fun you know that's when I maxed that's when I uh, took over Hexus when we had the skilling uh, first skilling cup and then we won it you know a lot of people then started maxing so that was fun uh, so 20 so okay I definitely ranked 2014 over 2013 2015 was really fun because like i had two different uh like since it like ranked two overall for i think like about like six months each during that so i may have been like ranked two overall for about like a year over that two year time span but like the game was still really fun because like it was like super refreshing and motivating because like the grand exchange release yep right in the beginning of 2015 and that was awesome. 2015 was a really great year. And like 15, 16, we also had like the Skilling Cup again. And we won that, which was really fun. And I think Twitter, it has really evolved over time. But I think Twitter was probably at like an all-time high in terms of like people producing quality content back in like 2016. Like there were two days I skipped class to sit on my phone and watch Twitter because of how amazing like Twitter days were. Why it, was it's it? Fun. Why wasn't so why wasn't so great? Um uh, so one one of them was when the and you know obviously this is going to be like one side but like when the uh official results for the skilling cup um were like the the most recent one were released and there was only like seven people that knew like prior to release that we actually won the skilling cup you know because like again like no one knew that we had the two tick wood cutting method yeah. that we developed so like the only people that knew was like me and the other guys like who like did that method like no one else in the clan knew about it and we didn't uh like tell anyone after we did those hours because like uh solace was like oh yeah you know we got like 120k or like what I have no idea what the three tick rates were or whatever it was that they got. It's probably around there. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, like they, they shared like what their hours were for like the handful. It was like, might've been like six or seven, like six or seven of us that like knew that we actually went. I was like, Hey, don't say shit. Like just, just, you know, keep quiet. And then like when we didn't share with people what our rates were, clan members were like, uh, did we lose? Like, why, why, why aren't you guys talking or anything? Like, you know, like looking for a reassuring, like, oh, it's all good, guys. It's all good. And I was just like, and I was like, hey, I mean, we're going to have to see what the results are when they get posted. Trance music, Twitter, 2015, 2016, untouchable in terms of like quality content. <laughs> so like when, when that, when that released, like I skipped class that day uh, at school just oh, so I God. could like watch watch twitter there's so many posts going i gotta i gotta make sure i catch <laughs> every single one oh, and i mean like it'd be like it'd be funny like the solos people had fun with it too like and like that was a good one uh and then i'd say like the other day that i skipped class just to watch twitter was i don't say this is a slight i'm not sure if this was the first time that harmony was banned or the second time that Harmony was banned, but uh, whenever that day was, that was also in like 2016. A couple of months later, that time I did as well. I was in, <laughs> I was in, st I was in statistics class when I saw the news. Walked straight back to my dorm. So like Twitter, Twitter is very different now than what it was back then. And yeah. there, like it's odd. Like there's way more people now. I kind of want to go back to the 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 whole Harmony thing. Actually, I swear this person's been top page 
on like multiple accounts when they get banned and then like and now he's 200 mil all like what's the history of this dude he is like the biggest gamer of all time to like uh, not get depressed they, after they, getting banned they oh oh, they, oh. um <laughs> so i i made a i made a video uh the second time that he got banned and that was on the account v so i mean and, and i'll let me first start off like the the actual person who like takes credit for the account i think is a great person i just don't think that they make good runescape decisions they were fun to hang out with and talk to when they were um real active but like i mean to give like I, and i made a video on it i ended up taking it down i mean like i mean by taking it down like none of my shit's actually deleted but like it's all just like private yeah. um but it was like talking about the the rise and fall of harmony vior and uh like he started out uh as as a girl harmony was a girl and i mean not actually but like yeah, yeah. Gave off the he's like, yeah, hey, I'm a chick. It was rank one agility by a lot. And uh he was account sharing with someone else who was also doing his agility. Now he claims that the person that he was account sharing with started to bot the agility, and that's what led to uh like his account, like Harmony, walking around Lumbridge, you know, like castle, like bugged out, <laughs> trying to bot. And and then he and then he got like permanently banned right there. And then he made a couple of other accounts after that, like Kate ninety five and I don't know the other one would have been. And like those accounts got banned for I don't know what. And then the I, I told you that there were two accounts that cheated and uh, ended up getting banned that maxed before me. One of those people that got banned uh, for cheating uh, gave like his alt to which was Vior to you know, Harmony Vior. And it had like about 400 EHP at the time. And then he just pretty much like took that on as his account. And Oh, so going back, like Harmony was like top 10 EHP rank with his agility at that time. So he wasn't like top page overall because yeah. he was rank one agility, but he was a top 10 EHP player. And then like claim that the person that he was account sharing with bought it and got it banned. So then he gets one or two like alts uh banned doing i don't know what and then he is gifted this account and then that's what he pretty much rocks with for the next couple of years gets that like that's a top gets top 10 ehp uh again on this account and then gets permanently banned because the person that he was account sharing with i'm not confident on the name so i'm not gonna say who uh but a the person that he was account sharing with was uh, like IP flagged as a prolific real world trader because that's the, that's the words that like Weth used mm. because he he ended up making like a Reddit post saying that like he was like un, like wrongly banned or whatever whatever and I don't know if it was on Reddit or if it was on Twitter but the words like prolific real world trader remember those words exactly were used so he account shared that account up to top ten overall I don't know if that person sold his money and then got it banned. Or, like, if it was, like, IP flagged and they eventually just banned him because he was account sharing with a real-world trader ha who happened to live on the other side of the world who was able to play when he was sleeping. I don't I don't exactly know, um, but, like, yeah, that one got banned. And he started out this third account here. His hours were very high, and he got, got banned for two weeks because he was a general of Omnia at the time, I believe, because he... Account shared to get an infernal cape. And if anyone wants to speculate on whether or not they account shared the XP that was also on that account that was gained at, you know, kind of record paces, if someone wants to like speculate on that, they can. I'm not going to like talk about theories, hypotheses, look at data points and shit like that. At the very least, he's account shared every account that he's had. Crazy to me still that, uh, I don't know, to keep kind of like skilling after you get banned. And again, I'm, I don't know the whole like history on. You know, account sharing and stuff, but just what I did know was banned multiple times at top EHPs and then restarts. So, mm -hmm. okay, I guess you can go on with the years up till 2021. Do you think 2015, 2016 was just the best years for you? 
Uh, I mean, I've really enjoyed 2020 and 2021. So like 2016, like first half of that was really great. Like that's when I went to the police academy. That was my final year of college where I was like an intern working part time and like being a full time student. So like I didn't play a whole lot in 2016. So then like 2017 um, and 2018, I wasn't able to play a whole lot. Like, it was when I was like just starting into my career. Uh, I switched departments. And with that, there's a very different social media policy. So that's when I um, had to delete my, del I deleted like all my tweets and whatnot. Like 2019 was pretty good. Like, in the, you know, I started, uh, well, like they came out with uh, like mobile, uh, like in 2018. So I was able to start playing quite a bit more. I would say 2020 um, might be up there with like the 2014, 2015 in terms of like overall fun. Those might be my three favorite years. 2015, 2016, 2020 would probably be like my three favorite years of playing.